Welcome to Takeda's Edge program, an SAP Cloud Platform Innovation Factory. I'm excited that we can present here at the SAP Digital Supply Chain Focus Week. My name is Hansi Magales. I'm the ERP Product Manager for Commercial and Supply at Takeda Pharmaceuticals here in Switzerland. With me today is uh, Nathalie Van Damme, the ERP Product Line Lead for the Edge program. Post merger, multiple integration programs started to bring the two companies together on a common future platform. But of course, the journey to the cloud, the innovation, the ambition to become more digital could not stop. In 2019, the head of ERP products and our CDIO endorsed the launch of the Innovation Factory using SAP Cloud Platform. The objective was to deliver more digital technologies for global supply chain. That was 12 months ago, but now we are emerging into other functional areas like finance, procurement, manufacturing, etc. Edge was created to rapidly solve business problems using SAP Cloud technology as a system of innovation. The traditional project life cycle was not fast enough. The governance was not responsive enough. We had an example that took us from the idea to build completion almost two years. We ran projects, not center of excellences or a DevOps or an innovation factory. But we had to become more agile and faster in delivering assets that we could scale. Also positioning the ERP organization as a value enabler, solving business problems through agile methodologies and complementing missing functionalities in the core system with intelligent applications in the cloud. Edge is a factory-based model to co-innovate with supply chain end users the best possible solution or minimum, minimum viable product. Developing new digital ways of working has already created value in the organization. One, because it's end user and design led. Two, we are fast to market from the idea to a prototype in less than three weeks. We are highly scalable. And four, a dedicated partnership with TCS from the idea to run. Connecting the business innovation, cutting edge digital technologies and agile development model is broken down into four cycles. An idea or a demand is verified for its value, feasibility, scalability, but also funding. Design thinking through the idea and decide on the minimum viable product, the number and the length of sprints is important. Technically sound solutions designed and implemented and ready for use. Managed applications and adoption follow-up is key. Over to you, Natalie. Thank you, Hansi. I want to present you some facts and figures of what we have achieved so far in our program. We kicked off the program around a year ago, in September 2019. Since then, we released four products. ATEMS is a tool to track supply and regulatory planning to monitor post-approval changes. In the same area, we built SMART, a change implementation planning and submission tool for new changes prior to their introduction into, into the supply chain. In addition, we created a forecast accuracy app using Python code to improve forecast accuracy for our oncology products. Last but not least, we are live with a cloud solution and a mobile app to track the production and supply chain of one of our products with only 72 hour shelf life in real time. Five additional products are currently in build and all of them leverage AI or machine learning capabilities. Over time, more than 150 business stakeholders have participated in our various design thinking workshops, demos, sprint reviews, and UATs. We completed already 10 design thinking sessions, and so far we have decided for only one product that SAP Cloud Platform is not the right solution. We captured so far more than 42 potential business cases across the organization, 
with an initial focus on global manufacturing and supply. In the meantime, we also received more and more requests from our business services team, finance, and also from the procurement area. The team has invested six weeks in building and refining the EDGE model and defined processes, validation plans, and methodologies so that we can cover GXP and non-GXP relevant cases. Every case starts with a design thinking workshop led by our innovation team. In COVID times, we use digital design thinking tools that allow collaboration almost like in person using sticky notes. The output of each design thinking session is a final report, which includes also a clickable, clickable mock-up of the 2B solution. Depending on the complexity of the case, the development of both the report and the mock-up takes usually around three to seven days. We built a strong governance to manage our portfolio closely. We make sure the business feels ownership of the solution and their people are actively involved in the requirement gathering prioritization and sprint reviews. Takeda and TCS agreed on a predefined pricing scheme with fixed parameters to determine the cost of each case. Such parameters are, for example, the number of personas and screens to be built and the number of interfaces. As part of the process, we use a validation, value realization framework to assess benefits expected by the application. I will talk about this in the next slide. Our value realization framework is used to assess the value and benefits to be expected. We use it to prioritize the use cases in our portfolio. Also in Takeda, we don't build applications just for fun, but to address a business need. This, this can be not only a financial one, but one supporting Takeda's key values, patient, trust, reputation, business. We make sure our cases support at least one of these areas. The value realization framework consists of a questionnaire of roughly 50 questions that need to be answered. The questions can be scored by the product owner, which is me in that case, to ensure the importance of each dimension is addressed. The whole use case is then scored against each value dimension. We score between one, which equals a poor fit, and nine, which reflects the best fit. As part of the output, we build a visualization to help the product owner to prioritize the portfolio. I'm handing over to Hansi again for the next slide. We are proud to have TCS as our innovation and implementation partner for the EDGE program. A one-team approach, creating a culture of collaboration and innovation between business, IT, and the consulting partner is important. Value-driven, the idea is to early assess a quantifiable business value through our value realization framework. An accelerated process, a predefined pricing model, a flexible resource model, and an innovation run team feeding back technical and process improvements. An experienced partnership. The partnership is key, and Takeda is lucky to have a cherry-picked selection of consulting colleagues for design, innovation, the business consulting part, product strategy, and technology implementation. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please ask now, else you have the contact details here. You can approach myself or Natalie van Damme, the EDGE program lead. Thank you, Hansi. Thank you, Natalie, for this very interesting uh, presentation. So I really like this uh, idea of the value realization framework. So let's pick up a few questions that we have received. Maybe the first one is for you, Natalie. Um, so did you have experience with agile methodologies before um, you started to run this project? Um, yes, we did have um, experience with agile methodologies before, but not really in the area of the, uh, not really in the SAP environment, and maybe even more in non-GMS, so non-manufacturing, non-supply chain, non-regulated areas. So I would say that for the 
SAP environment, this is for us the first truly agile way of working. Thank you, Natalie. Um, maybe the next is for you, Hansi. Um, the question is what, is, what is the common setup and the size of these agile teams? You mentioned that you also work together here with a partner, TCS. Um, how many people do you have in such an agile uh, development team? So basically, in, from our consulting partner, we have about uh, 55 uh, consultants working for us on the EDGE program, primarily offshore. Uh, we have about 10 to 12 uh, on site, uh, especially the core team, which is uh, running all the ideation, intake, uh, innovation um, areas. But uh, from a Takeda perspective, uh, only Natalie runs the show alone. Yeah, and maybe to add on that, I mean, one, one thing of the of the factory-based approach is also that we are able to scale up and down the delivery of the of the build very fast. So we don't have a, a fixed team on the offshore side, but we're able to adapt very um, flexibly to the demand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then let's, let's continue here with another question. Uh, so um, you presented the value realization framework. Um, do you also use it after a sprint in order to evaluate the outcome of the sprint, to see the real value that you got from your development activities? Not after a sprint, but after a go live, because sometimes we have several sprints that lead to uh, that are necessary for the go live. But after the first release of a product, about one month to six, week la six weeks later, depending on the type of the product, we have a post-implementation review where we are interviewing the users and we send a questionnaire to capture if the value realization that we defined upfront is actually um, being achieved or not. And if not, um, we are um, doing an investigation to see if we can add an additional sprint or release to improve the product going further. Mm -hmm. And what is the common sense? What are the users um, giving you as feedback? Um, typically, they're very happy. I think in, when we started, it was a bit of a bumpy road because the trust into our solution was not there upfront. So first, we had to we had to work a little bit for it, but now that we have several products live and we gain more and more traction internally, people are actually quite happy with what they get. And of course, still, it's always a learning curve, but I think for as of now, we're very, uh, very happy with what we're doing and we also receive the same feedback from the business. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hansi. Thank you, Natalie, uh, for your time. I really like the idea of this agile um, development process and um, how you run your business. Thanks for sharing this information with us. We wish you all the best um, and, of course, many successful further sprints and happy users. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.